Let's finish this section with the last example. So here we have 2x minus 3, the quantity cubed. Applying the formula, we cube the first term. So here we have 2x, the quantity to the third power. Remember that with a minus, we have to alternate signs. So we have minus 3 times the square of the first. So 2x, the quantity squared, times the second, plus 3 times the first, 2x, times the second squared, 3 squared. And then finally, minus the cube of the last term, or the cube of the second term, which is 3 cubed. Cleaning this up, we get 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the third power is 8. x to the third power is x cubed. Now here we want to be a little bit careful because there's a lot of constants floating around. I prefer to start with exponents whenever possible, so 2 squared is going to be 4. 4 times, now notice that there's this 3 that has to be multiplied and also this 3. Doesn't matter which one you multiply by first, but a lot of times students will make a mistake by forgetting this one. So 4 times 3 gives us 12, 12 times 3 gives us 36. And that's why we have minus 36 x squared, x to the second power would give us x squared. Here, again, you want to be careful with the coefficients, or with the constants. Do the exponents first. So 3 squared is 9. 9 has to get multiplied by the 2 and by the 3. So 9 times 2 is um, 18. 18 times 3 is 54. And then finally, we have 3 cubed. 3 cubed, we know, is 27. So again, we've written the polynomial in standard form. Powers are decreasing. We know that it's a polynomial because all the powers are whole numbers and all the coefficients are real numbers. For this last one, verify it yourself. Pause the video, verify it. Make sure that I didn't do anything inappropriate. Uh, make sure that the right things are being cubed. Make sure that the signs are correct. Uh, so pause the video, go through this example yourself. It contains uh, common mistakes that students have made in the past. So again, identify what the mistake is, correct it in your notes, and if there's no mistakes, then obviously just take note of it and, and move on. Hopefully this helps. We'll see you in the next section.